starting to warm up. It's 46 degrees, so and it's supposed to be up in the 50s tomorrow, and we're going to be in the 60s for about at least four days coming up. So that's great. So things are thawing out. It's a muddy mess out there. And that ice, freezing rain coming down, and that stuff melts slow and it soaks in good. So yeah, the road, this gravel road's pretty more of a mud road right now. And Oreo, why are you right at my feet? Yeah, if I can get a bite on that thing. There we go. Yeah, I thought I'd tear a motor down today. I still got quite a few of them on the floor to get done. I was hoping to get a lot more done, but I had to do some running around. Got a plug drain I've been working on. I thought it was froze up for a while because we had all that all that cold weather, but Apparently that's not the case. So a lot of times it's easier just to drive that shaft and it'll drive that air off. <coughs> Bearing state on the shaft there, so this is clean right there. Yeah, what I'd like to do, I need to flip this over so I can see what you guys are seeing. Oh, well, that just fell right out of there, so good clean cast right there. This one will go in short iron. Yeah, I've been out here moving stuff around the shop, rearranging moving stuff around last day or two it's getting warm enough to get out here now okay I'm gonna kick in the angle grinder so it might get a little noisy guys so if you got earbuds in turn your volume down or pull your earbuds Usually once that pops it loosens up enough to occasionally get one that's been spot welded, but not too often. Yeah, this is going to be fun with this tape on there, but hey, we're going to cut this off. So, it's going to get loud. And then we'll chisel it out and we'll figure out what we got in weight and then I'll clean it all up. Clean all that tape off of it. That beautiful orange copper. Yeah, from here, what I do, I get all these little plastic pieces off of here. I need to check with uh, 
standard iron, find out what they're paying for copper, and find out where they stand on on the strings. Now metal check, they don't like the strings. If you got and even these, if I pull them out and they're, some of the plastic sleeves are melted to them, they try to pay me insulated copper prices. So I need, you know, but each, each scrapyard has their own buyers and their own buyers are picky in their own ways, so. Some scrapyards, they don't say a thing about having the strings on the electric motors. I've seen pictures of people taking them to the scrapyard in Gaylord boxes, you know, and all the strings be on there, and the yards don't say a thing, so. It's just certain yards. Okay, so now, now we'll get it out of... You can see the way I got this thing modified. I get asked from a lot of people why I don't use a plasma cutter. You see these uh, plastic sleeves that come out, come out with it. I find if I use a cutting torch or plasma cutter, it gets too hot in there, and these things kind of melt into the copper. And then once they melt in there, it's really hard to, you know, separate it. It's just kind of melted to it, glued to it almost, you know. And, uh, and that's the kind of stuff that they like to pay that insulated copper price for when I could take the time and cut a lot of that out of there and have very little with the plastic on it. And then that, that still that does have the plastic on it, I can always melt and uh, make one of my figurines. I need to get back to melting and make some of those. Make some more of them dragon eyes. Those are those are selling good. But I think I got them underpriced, so I think when I start doing those again I'll probably have to jack the price up five dollars or something.
So a lot of these strings they come off pretty easy, but you get some. They got so much shellac or whatever they put on these things. They got so much on there you can't hardly you can't pull them off because it's, it's like they're glued on. Then the string goes right in there. Yeah, I'm glad this cold spell's over. I'm getting some warmer temperatures coming in. But winter's far from being over, I think. <laughs> It'd be nice if that was uh, the last of the real cold stuff. I'm ready for spring. Trying to get things squared away where I can start working on some of these boat motors. Message a guy in Marketplace last night about a Johnson 9.9 .9 horse. And he said right now it's pending. We won't know until Thursday night. So, maybe Friday I'll get to go to Marlowe and pick up another motor. Maybe. Kind of trying to stick with nine nines and down, even though I did pick up a 20 horse the other day for parts. So, when I get the other room straightened out, if I ever get it straightened out, I'm going to try to start tearing, taking a few of these motors apart and get, them, get the parts pieces cleaned up, tested, if there's a way to test them. I mean, a bracket's a bracket. You don't need to test it. Just clean it up where it looks good, and you can tell if it's good or not. But uh, some components, you got to test them. Coils, whatnot. So, but then I asked myself, do I want to part it out, sell it on eBay, or do I want to keep it for parts in case I find one identical to it that has a title? Or where I can use parts off of it. I could probably put a 20 horse on that uh, 14 foot boat I've got. Of course I wouldn't want to be changing it out too much. Yeah, what I'd probably have to do, I'd probably have to put, figure out a place I could put a hoist and then uh, just hoist it up. got a big bunch of several loops of string right here. I need to put this over here because it keeps all this stuff that flies off goes right into the bucket every time. Okay. This looks clean. It's cleaning up pretty good really. Yeah, I've been fighting this one drain out here. It's snake I got is 25 foot. I ran it all the way in from my little service port that I put in out here. And I'm still not getting to the problem area. That drain only runs to, uh, I think, the kitchen sink and the uh, wash machine. I think that's all that's on that drain. 
like I said, at first we thought it was just froze up, but it's still acting up. My wife tried to do some laundry today and filled up both kitchen sinks. So when the washing machine started draining out, so that didn't work. I'm trying to run it down where the washing machine is. I get down about six foot and then, you know, spinning the thing and then I can't pull it out. It's caught up on something. So. Debating do I need to go down and get a 50 foot snake? I used to have a long one, I don't know what ever happened to it. Probably got kinked up and rusty and everything and I probably scrapped it. Yeah, slow going. I hope I'm not boring you guys too much. Just getting these strings cut. Yeah, they take time. If didn't have that plastic tape on there, I'd probably just take the torch to it. You're burning the strings, not the copper, so. Okay, we're there. This is the last spot. It's got a cluster of them. Okay. Now from here we can kind of just break pieces off and look at it, make sure it's all cleaned off of there. Yeah, we're doing some electrical work out here and just moving stuff around a little bit. <laughs> Thinking I'm going to have to run an ad on some of the Blanchard groups. Because I've got my little OEC ad running, but I've got got a few calls off of that. Seems like I'm mainly getting washing or dish, yeah, refrigerators off of that thing, though. I see a time in the future where we may have to stop taking them because it's going to be more trouble than they're worth. Scrapyard Chickasha takes them, but they want all the shelving pulled out. Some yards just won't take them at all. They kind of would think standard would because they shred everything there, but I don't know. They might be watched closer there too, I don't know. This month is almost over.
Yeah, there was a bunch of stuff I was planning on getting done today. Yeah. A lot of it's not happening. The day's almost over. Of course, I might come back out here after I ate dinner. Come out back out for another hour. The weather. The weather's going to warm up. It depends on how the wind is. Got a lot of stuff up out there in the field I need to bring up and cut up. Which I got that one corn head up here, and I got another one down there I need to bring up. I got a pickup bed out there I need to cut up. And I got another homemade trailer I got to cut up. It'd be some good short iron on it. Okay, I'm going to set this over on the scale and see what kind of weight we got. This is 2 pounds, 8.7 ounce. Now this bucket weighs 3 point something. So I might as well say 2 pounds, 5 ounces. So maybe 2 and a quarter pounds. So a little over 6 bucks. Not too bad out of one little motor. Yeah, I started making a bracket here for putting my outboards on. I got to bolt it to the wall and kind of burning through a little bit. Of course, there was a hole there anyway. But I kind of put the welder away earlier, said, so ah, forget it. But it's actually kind of holding pretty strong, so I might go ahead and see if I can add to that weld a little bit and close it in some and then uh, flip it over and try to weld some. And get the one on the other end and I don't think I can set them motors on that thing if it doesn't work which I'll probably you know put a couple lag bolts in there but so that all the weights not just on there I figured like about the center I'd put a, a drop a leg down to help support so you have to get a plate of steel or something but it might hold because I'm going maybe six outboards and like I said, I'm trying to stay under 10 horse, so, so it's going to be a lot of weight. But <laughs> there's that anyway. Okay, I'm going to get off of here, and it's probably getting close to eating time. So, and then I want to get some of that chemical, make some foam balls, and get them out there in the dumpster before garbage day. So, we'll see you guys in the next video. So, happy scrapping, and you guys take care. Bye-bye.